Aquarius. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Aquarius Tarot reading. Aquarius love tarot reading. Aquarius love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Aquarius love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person. Mes <laughs> These are yours. Messages from their higher self. Seven of Cups in Reverse and the Two of Wands. Somebody's getting clarity about what they want, getting out of their commitment issues, Aquarius. Two of Wands here in the partnership placement. What you've been waiting for, Mars and Aries energy. Seven of Cups, Venus and Scorpio. Okay, look at the bottom of the deck, the world card. I have a lot to say to you, <laughs> but your reading's coming in. And I just have to mention that Look at our world card here. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, you're also here. Monarch butterflies. They, they wait until a storm passes to go out. They don't go out in bad weather. Storms, windy weather, rain. It's time. It's a divine number, divine timing here. Somebody is definitely coming back in. This is somebody who's had some commitment issues. What are there? There are other commitments. Is it just fear of commitment? What, whatever it is. It's the reversal here. It's the clarity. It's somebody who's gotten out of that energy and knows what they want. Coming into wands, the world card. It is a soulmate energy, and there's a completion energy here. It's the last major arcana in the deck, which is, of course, the end of the cycle, going into a new one. What if the goal's been around this person? Because that could be connecting to something kind of big. These are yours. Okay, so this is how your reading is going today. Nine of Swords. This is also coming in. Eight of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups. Okay, it's one of these readings today. <laughs> I feel like we just need to go in, so I'm just going to be fast. Aquarius, this is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. Welcome again. I'm really glad you're here. All your Zodiac readings are linked in the playlists on the channel and also down below in the description. You'll also find all signs, tarot readings, these are collective love readings. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long in depth twin flame readings as well. So feel free to explore. Remember it's a general tarot reading. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. This is your love tarot reading. I do pretty much always bring in channeled love messages, messages from their higher self, Let's see what else wants to come in. Don't forget to like today's video and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you, Aquarius. Let's go. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else Aquarius needs to see. Aho. Okay, this is also yours. <laughs> it's the Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords here too. Look. Um, this is pretty clear, Aquarius. This person is not sleeping. They are missing you. Nine of Swords, Gemini and Mars energy coming in here with the Five of Pentacles, Mercury and Taurus. Yeah, you're on their mind. This is a card of loss. It's a card of worry. It's a validation. It's pretty clear. No contact, no communication and or in separation. It's also clear. Look, it's been clear, but it's a super strong validation. Seven of Cups in Reverse and the Eight of Cups in Reverse. So getting out of their commitment issues. Also coming back in in an emotionally honest and available way because this is somebody who wasn't. This Eight of Cups was here, wasn't it? Did they ghost you? Is this somebody who pulled away emotionally? It sure feels like it because they're coming in the exact opposite. They know what they want. Seven of Cups in Reverse, Eight of Cups, they're coming back. This is somebody coming in. So you either know who it is or maybe maybe it's somebody who's going to surprise you. It's catty corner here with the two of wands and it's what you've been waiting for. Mars and Aries energy. And yeah, Mars is around completion. It's how we do things. We saw that coming in with the world card of getting out of the cycle you've been in. And also the end of the cycle. So reaching goals or laying them out for the future. 
and that world card energy. And look what is here, where their energy is the strongest. It's the Ten of Cups, Mars and Pisces energy. Had you built a life, were you building it? Was it on the table? It's very much on the table. It's very much in their mind. They're not sleeping here. This is somebody who's waking up anxious, missing you. What happened? We have two holes here, one in each sock. It's like representing both of you. One of them has a hole in the big toe. That's like the worst. I'm wondering, I'm feeling like there's probably a pretty big apology that's coming here too, because that might be you. Because it's somebody who obviously has been in some sort of having some issues with commitment, whatever they are, and ran at the very least emotionally pulled away. And they're coming back in, learning some lessons. It's real, real clear. And yeah, we saw that coming in. What's on their mind? It's a validation here with the Ace of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy on the Ten of Cups. This is somebody who is coming in with an offer. Were you, again, were you in something, had you built a life together? Were you building it wasn't on the table? The Ten of Cups, of course, and, and the Ace of Cups can be around family energy, children even. But we can also be talking about going exclusive or introducing families, blending families. Whatever the case is, this person is not sleeping. The star is here, and this is you. This is your energy, Aquarius. The Four of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Wands, yeah. Look at the move here with the Ten of Cups. The Four of Pentacles, Sun and Capricorn energy. This is somebody, strong energy. Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Even our star energy here, which of course is you, Aquarius, and the nocturnal energy that comes with that. This is somebody who is not sleeping, who's waking up and stressed and is getting ready to make this move. It's just really clear. I feel like they are looking at either their phone, their computer, maybe they're even talking to other people, but there is a page of swords, six of cups energy here of just watching and getting kind of triggered. They haven't let you go. This is somebody who's been working out their issues. There is some pride here as well. This is somebody, I feel like you've, there's just been some of, what of a power struggle? And it could be around just who's maybe even going to communicate first. And is that what they're working out? I think so. One of probably a few things, but definitely getting out of their commitment issue energy and whatever else is going on in this Four of Pentacles. This King of Wands getting ready to make this move. King of Wands, Two of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. And the star, that's you, Aquarius. Aquarius, of course, and Uranus energy. The star is connected to the crown chakra, I know. It's faded connection. It's stars aligning, and it's a lot of healing energy. It's a lot of healing energy here. And it's quite literally, for me, connecting with wake-up energy. So it's bringing in judgment. Archangel Gabriel, who is connected to the sacral chakra, I feel, as well as the third eye chakra I see, but it's also a literal wake-up energy, like waking up in the night. It's somebody who's who's waking up, kind of stressed out. Wish, a wish, like a making wish energy, of course, and a wish fulfillment energy, because that's the thing with the star energy. It's it's having hope for renewal. It's like, I know what I want. And yeah, not letting it go. And it's just really clear they haven't let you go. And that's a really super strong validation okay so these are are coming in they are yours whoa so there's cards falling three of pentacles justice five of wands in reverse page of pentacles there the magician and the six of wands okay I think we're going to bring in some more, but let's go over this energy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is pretty clear. Five of Wands in reverse, Saturn and Leo energy. They want to work things out. This is resolve these issues. Right here with our Five of Pentacles. 
really missing you. Again, awake, looking, triggered. This is giving us a 55 and this is telling me that things are about to change. And you can see that things are about to change. It's really, really clear. It's like what you've been wishing for and waiting for is here. Ten of Cups, King of Wands, Ace of, Ace of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Star. And again, getting out of the Commitment Issue Energy, Seven of Cups in Reverse and the Eight of Cups coming back. The Six of Wands, Communication. If you can see this person, if you can see them, if you know you're going to see them, if they're going to be at an event, or maybe you could see them, there's definitely going to be other people around. This is communicating. This is somebody who really wants to work it out. Look at this. It's, so it's the five, whatever challenges that have been going on around this person coming through, and, and I want to say around your connection, it's really clear that they've worked it out and they're coming here to communicate. And this is somebody who really wants to work this out. They are missing you. They are not sleeping. And this is what's on their mind. Offer energy here is really strong. Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn energy. So it's more energy here of working it out. Divine number, divine timing coming together. There is a teamwork energy, you could say. It's like you have, to you have to be on the same page. Everybody has to be on the same page. If somebody here is in commitment issues, somebody's running, not being honest, emotionally hiding feelings, whatever, in ego, then everybody's not there. It's really clear here. Six of wands, five of wands in reverse, three of pentacles. In our minor arcana energy, both what happened, where they are, and what they're planning to do here. And a really strong validation with our major arcanas that are here on the table. Look at this, the star, justice, and the magician. Libra energy, Venus, justice is connected to the heart chakra. I love healing energy, the truth coming here, a really healing truth. This is a master number. It's a coming together number. It's new beginnings. It's coming here with the star and the magician, Gemini, and Virgo energy, Mercury energy, as above, so below. This is taking this inspired action. It's turning their visions into a reality. What are their visions here? Clearly, this person is awake in the night, triggered, kind of stressed, wanting to communicate because this is what they want. They want to make a move here. It is just really incredibly strong. The magician is connected both to the solar plexus chakra I do as well as the throat chakra I speak. So what inspired action are they taking here? I mean, it's obvious. If you can see each other, the communication is there. If you cannot see each other, the likelihood is SMS, text message, social media, email. But really, it's about how you normally communicate. So however that is, whatever is possible for you, but coming in here with the truth and the magician, which is around new beginnings. This is somebody here, by the way, who has this wish in the star, which is literally you, Aquarius, has this wish here and is making it come true in the magician. That's what the magician is doing. The magician is taking this inspired action and making their dreams come true. All the elements are here, water, air, earth, and fire. So this person is showing up in a very, I want to say in a more balanced and centered way than they probably have been. It's actually really clear for me in the Magician and even in the Ten of Cups of what they want, what they're either ready for or available for. Somebody was ready, somebody's not. Somebody was available, somebody was not. Because we see in that Seven of Cups and the Eight of Cups, which are both in reverse now, that those were obviously in the upright. And there's commitment issues that have been around this person. And you can see here with the Ten of Cups, they know what they want. The Magician here making it happen. And the hopeful energy around the rainbows. But that's also connecting me with the chakras. And there is a strong energy of this person getting centered and realigned. It's clear that this is somebody who knows what they want. There is a little bit of the figuring it out energy, you could say, with our, our page of pentacles. 
kind of like a student energy. But you can also see here in our King of Wands that this is somebody who, yeah, this is somebody who's planning to make a move here. Oh, actually, you know, I was going to bring in some Oracle, but I'm wanting to bring in, okay, here we go, <laughs> some more Tarot. So it's coming in here. Is that it? Bottom of the deck, the High Priestess. Yeah, this is really clear. And I'm going to tell you what's here in just a moment. Yeah, this page energy of trying to figure it out is has figured it out. So here we go. So they're wanting to come together. We have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio and Pluto energy. The Princess, Prince, Charming energy. Somebody coming in here with, yeah, a proposal energy. Now that could be, let's talk, let's meet up, let's do this, let's do that, right? But I do want to tell you, we do have the Ace of Cups here, we have the Ten of Cups here, and now we have the Knight of Cups here. So could it be for some of you that this is around really major commitments that do involve a proposal? It could even be marriage, in particular with our Ace of Cups, and of course we can see that connecting with the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I mean it is here, and what move are they making? Well... It's a validation of the move, the Three of Wands, the Sun and Aries energy. This is a coming together energy. If you can see this person again, if you can see them in, in the 3D quite literally, then this is most likely where, where you're going to have some kind of conversation. If you are connected via friends and family, it's, it's a strong energy that it could be something like a wedding party, graduation, that sort of thing. But if there is even a chance or you know you're going to see them, then you already know what the event is. It's not for everybody that it's in person. I know that. But the energy of travel is here. And the interesting thing about the Three of Wands is this is the wand energy. It's the fiery energy. But it's a boat, which is the air energy, which is you, Aquarius. Also, of course, Gemini and Libra. And this boat is traveling on the water, which is the cup energy. And it's the divine energy, the timing, quite literally, the three of wands. Divine number, divine timing, communication. It's emotional. It's around your love and there, it's on the move. So whether this is in person or this is via message or however you normally talk to this person, this is communication. It's heading straight here for the sun. This is the sun and Aries energy. The sun, of course, is connected to the solar plexus ch chakra. I do. There's a lot of power in that sun. That's a new cycle. That's working things out. That's happy outcome energy. That's where this person is ultimately wanting to end up here. The Knight of Swords, Libra and Mercury energy, having a lot to say. Look, here with the devil in reverse, including an apology. What has been in this energy? Saturn, Capricorn, and Saturn energy. So is it just around ego here because that is there is some pride in ego here are we looking at other contracts in the way of romance possibly pentacles contracts relationships partnerships i mean it could be to work and money too whatever somebody's attachment to money or a greedy energy or overabundance in the cup energy which we also see even in, in kind of how things happen in the seven and the eight of cups Whatever this is, it's in reverse. So it's a detachment from that. And it's coming here with the Ace of, of Swords, which can get intense. They have a lot to say. So it is it is both, it's like explaining themselves. There's an apology here, but yeah, there's a lot of ex explaining going on. Six of Cups energy was really strong coming in and here it is. And look, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Cups, what are they revealing in this high priestess energy? Definitely the feelings they've been holding back. Pisces energy, our master of emotions here. High priestess, so making the decision that we saw coming in as well. Very clearly, the decision around getting out of this commitment energy, whatever that is, whether it's around the timing of somebody being ready, the timing of somebody being available, whatever that is. This is also a, re a revealing of their feelings. Divine feminine energy, cancer energy, 
it's like yeah a renewed spark energy just even looking look how they are connecting today this this is somebody who has a lot of feelings for you just even seeing them in your energy aquarius in the star card and this flowing waterfall which is also around their emotions here this has been really clear and that's the thing look what is here these are energies that i strongly felt and here they are six of cups page of swords energy totally in their head nostalgic energy the thing about the six of cups is you can see you can see the memories here it's you know a memory box pictures a dried rose an old postcard a locket letters valentines some of you might have actual memory boxes or your person but probably nowadays it's more like digital but it is especially here with our page of swords somebody here in our nine of nine of swords five of pentacles gosh five of wands in reverse all of this is just really clear that they're awake at night the wake up energy they're, they're literally awake they're looking at their phone if you're connected via friends and family which some of you are they're talking to them or maybe looking at social media if that's another way to kind of see what you're doing so their their memory box you could say digitally could be around their phone other people computers whatever there is a reunion energy here and sometimes that's just a nostalgic energy that just kind of stays in nostalgic energy but it's just really really clear that this is somebody who is literally making this move and for some of you it is quite literal that it's actual travel boy do they have a lot to say here in our look at this night i just realized that knight of cups knight of swords knight of pentacles oh my gosh yeah they have a lot to say this is somebody that i feel yeah there's a lot of love and feelings here, obviously, between you. They're coming here to talk. They're coming here to reveal them. They're coming here with an offer. It's just incredibly clear. And opening up the communication, our Page of Swords is watching. That energy has been really clear. And look what is, and they're holding on to the truth here. And didn't we, am I imagining that? Did, yeah, I was going to say, didn't we have justice here? <laughs> of course we did. There's a paper here with a pencil and a pen. And if you write with a pencil, it's, it's like you can erase it and keep rewriting. And if you write with a pen, it's like you have to commit. So there's definitely an energy of trying to get it right. And it's connecting here with working it out and the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Devil card in reverse with the Apology. And that's the other thing. There's a lot of humility here, by the way, even in our Knight of Pentacles. And look. You could see their shadow. It has. It is somebody who has been in shadow and ego. You could see that with the devil in reverse. It's clear they're getting out of that. I do feel like there have been some power struggles around communicating. This is coming in. I want to work it out. Three of pentacles, five of wands in reverse, ace of pentacles. I mean, everything here. But just a strong energy around that. If I, I want to work this out. I want to do the work. And there's a, a humility energy. So that apologetic energy is strong. And the Page of Cups is here. Here with, with their trusty friend, the Page of <laughs> Pentacles. So look, they're both connecting with our Seven of Cups, who is in reverse, who has figured out what they want as they come back in with the Eight of Cups in reverse. They're just trying to figure it out. It's like student energy, you know? But it is a sincere energy, and it's definitely coming. And I just realized that, too. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Page of Swords. Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. This is really, really goosebumpy and really clear. Something's going down here, Aquarius. Whether this is in person and you know where this is going to happen or there's a message coming in. Let's bring in some Oracle. Look at the first card that just wanted to come out. I'm not reading it in reverse, by the way. The star. Your star is here again, look. Guidance, being pulled toward each other, being pulled by the universe together. This is fate and destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't, being pulled together again. Who is this person? This is so clear and so goosebumpy. 
just even how your first oracle wanted to come out today. Okay, let's see what else is coming in. Then we're going to get into some channeled love messages. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else Aquarius needs to see. Aho. Okay. So it's lion temperament. And by the way, did I? Why do I feel like we saw temperance? I feel like we saw temperance and now all of a sudden I'm not seeing it. Well, I'm being shown temperance, so okay. <laughs> that's Archangel Michael. Yeah, that's wanting to get everybody on the path to the truth, wanting to get everybody in a good place to work things out for everybody's highest good. So this came off. I think there is that just one. Okay, it was it was pulling this one off. Butterfly transformation. It's connecting both with the death card energy, them getting out of their ego, coming in a really different vibe, and just what is going on here literally. There's three, divine number, divine timing. The transformational energy that something is changing, something is ending for this. Something needed to end has to end for this to go where we can see it going. It's dark to light energy. So it's also around, I want to say some of, yeah, some of the not, maybe some of the, the energy of being not in contact, you know, like getting out of the, well, yeah, the, getting out of the no contact energy because that's not a nice place to be. And temperance is here or temperant. And that's, that's what I wanted to say because I thought temperance was here and we were getting it again. So it is coming through really strong here. It's the lion. And it's also connecting with the strength card. So temperance, first of all, look. Literally around strength and courage to get everybody on the path to the truth to work it out. Sagittarius energy. It's restoring balance, restoring harmony. It's, it's literally meeting in the middle and working it out. And there's so much energy of that here. And there is that sun energy, the new cycle, the new opportunities in that cycle, in the sun, in the new day. And also around that energy of the strength card, which is, of course, really more of that energy of getting the strength to get out tame the beast, so to speak, to get out of pride and ego, get the courage and come. And we see that here, three of wands, king of wands, and our major arcana, the magician, the star card, justice, that this is going down. And even our devil here, it's in reverse. It's an apology coming with it. Castle alignment. Everybody wanting the same thing. Things working out. Timing is really strong here really strong around stars aligning energy, your energy, Aquarius, and the star having been your first card. And as I talk about that with justice, look, it's back. And the lizard renewal, which is also connecting us to our magician. And infinity, by the way, which is connected to Libra, of course. It's Libra is connected to infinity and justice. That's truth, balance, and renewal. That's literally this. Truth, balance, and renewal. The scales. This person, for sure, coming in a very centered and balanced energy. It's not where I think things have been, but it's, it's where they're heading in order to even make this move. This is really goosebumpy, and it's definitely, yeah, I mean, it's connecting here with justice. Hello, that camera makes me crazy. <laughs> My gosh, I'm not sure where it ended. I think it was just probably right around justice. The balance card here in our Oracle deck connecting with justice. Truth, balance, and renewal was a lot of the, that message coming through. Validating justice. The renewal also, whoa, validating the magician card. And then the last card, when I saw the camera wasn't recording, is bench assess. And this is connecting me to the nine of cups, which is, yeah, a wish fulfillment energy. Assessing the situation. The interesting thing is, is somebody's kind of got up, you know, like they're not here, but they are. It's like 
walking around and assessing this situation. So not necessarily waiting. And that is, I feel like, around your energy in many ways of wanting this to happen. Clearly, you're both here. It's just really strong. But making some decisions for yourself. This is really, really clear, Aquarius. Let's bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. You can see the footprints, you know, somebody get, it's like just, it's like being around the bench. So having got up, assessing the situation. So yeah, not waiting, but here, if you know what I mean. Channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. You speak to me through music. I wish things could be different. Right here with the Six of Cups, with the nostalgic energy. I'm so attracted to you, so that's also a strong energy here. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Devil in Reverse, Knight of Swords. There's definitely a lot of explaining that they have to do. I left before you could leave me. My life is not as together as it seems. It's not going to be for everybody that there's some kind of legal issues, but it definitely, you know, it went right here with the balance, the scales, and justice. So it could be that that was something going on. I mean, we do have the devil in reverse. The tarot closet channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. I have a lot to say. <laughs> As I said that, look, there's so much left unsaid. Yeah, there is. And that's the Knight of Swords here. So we, yeah, Six of Cups, Knight of Swords. Page of Swords holding on to that truth, getting ready to make a move. Literally getting the courage to do that here in our King of Wands. Come here with the truth, justice, the scales. Also, how they feel about you. That's connected to the Heart Chakra Justice. The truth is, and it's here with the King of Cups who's revealing their feelings. After all this time, I'm still into you. Songs are constantly being played that remind me of you, and it's connecting to the reminiscing and the nostalgic energy of the Six of Cups. And you speak to me through music. So there is a strong musical connection here. I think of you so much that I see you everywhere I go. I'm getting it together so you can be mine. That's really strong. This is just not even a question for me. Ten of Cups, Magician, Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, King of Cups. The star here twice. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Six of Wands. What am I forgetting? <laughs> you are my soulmate. Actually, I want to put this here. Yeah, so they're seeing you as their soulmate. The music connection here, Aquarius, I play songs that remind me of you on repeat. So they are really in this nostalgic energy in the nine, nine of swords, five of pentacles, five of wands in reverse, up, star energy, six of cups, page of swords, watching, not sleeping, playing music, looking at pictures. The music connection's really strong. <laughs> At night, here we go. I talk to you hoping you receive my messages. So there is a lot of telepathic energy also coming through with music. Are you receiving those signs? Pay attention because it's really strong. You are on my mind 24-7. <laughs> I'm telling you, look at this. I stay up all night thinking of you. This energy is so strong around this person. No, I am not over you. That much is really clear. The Tarot Closet Love Messages. So, <laughs> Aquarius. Seriously, so many songs remind me of you. Songs are constantly being played that remind me of you. I play songs that remind me of you on repeat. I stay up all night thinking of you. You speak to me through music. At night, I talk to you, hoping you receive my messages. Uh, they are 
sending you song messages. You might be getting literal messages with songs, but songs that you're hearing, messages and you're picking up on, yeah. I have so many regrets. Don't ever change. It was me, not you. Please forgive me. It's here with the transformational energy, which does connect with the death card energy and it connects with them being in their higher selves. That's a really sincere apology. Can you feel my love? You are the love of my life. You are my soulmate. Please wait for me. I dream of you. I received your telepathic messages. Strong, strong telepathic connection going on here. The Tarot Closet channeled love messages. Messages from their higher self, Aquarius. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. I have so many regrets. These two are connected. I took you for granted. The dreaming of you energy, waking up from dreaming of you, not being able to go back to sleep. It's strong. I miss you. Yeah. It's so strong. It's goosebumpy. I'm getting goosebumps. I think of you all the time. You're on my mind 24-7. I was stupid. I was stupid. Please forgive me. We have a deep soul connection. I spy on you. <laughs> That's a page of swords energy and it's been really strong. So we already know that. Yeah, I stare into your eyes in photos. That's also been really, really, really clear from the beginning that this is somebody who's just up on their phone, on their computer, whatever, talking to people, Googling. However they can get information, just going, listening to music, going into some really deep nostalgic energy. I made so many mistakes. It was me, not you. No one compares to you, Aquarius. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. <laughs> yeah, look, I reread our messages. It's just really super clear. I couldn't really, I don't think it could be any clearer for me, especially in your reading today. Aquarius, that's your reading. Thank you for joining me. It's been my honor as always to channel for you. I appreciate you being here so much. Please don't forget to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you. I'm sending you love and I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon.